when Ross told me first about Sandy, he said, there's a woman on the bus I see in the morning who we catch the bus together that he likes. And I said, oh, I said, have you spoken to her? And he was like, no. I said, well, if you like her, then you must speak to her. Look for an opportunity to say something that isn't weird. <laughs> And then when she doesn't catch the bus afterwards, then you won't have to worry about being declined for a date. As it turns out, to Ross's fortunate advantage, uh, there might not have been alternate transport available for Sandy to get to work. <laughs> It's also one of the sweetest How We Met stories that I've ever heard. It was an icy day and I needed to be in work a little bit earlier than usual. So I thought, well, I'll run for it. A jog on ice. <laughs> Slipped, knocked myself into the barriers when trying to go underneath it, clipped my shoulder, clipped the back of my head. So I thought, I've made myself look a real prat here, but I've made it to the bus. But Sandy said, with laughter, which she couldn't hide, are you, are you okay? So what first drew my attention to Sandy? Lovely big eyes, lovely smile, long legs. What drew Sandy to me? Sympathy. So, <laughs> so I just hope from this moment forward that she continues to be sympathetic. The bridesmaids, thank you for looking after Sandy. Only 25 minutes late. I didn't win the sweep. Uh, <laughs> absolutely. I give you this ring as a token of my love and as a symbol of all we share. I'll honour and cherish with patience and understanding. And humour. And humour. <laughs> my husband, my heart and my hand are yours as I stand by your side on this day, knowing that our love unites us as well. Ross and Sandy, you have now both made the declarations required by law, <laughs> together with your own solemn promises to one another, in the presence of your witnessing family and all your friends gathered here with you today. It now gives us extremely great pleasure to pronounce your now husband and wife together. Congratulations. <laughs> Obviously, want to welcome Sandy into the family. Foolish girl. <laughs> brave, brave girl. What the obligation we've got to the family is that we hope we can help her with her fits. But we're not sure whether to provoke them or prevent them. Because these fits of giggles are something to behold. I would say this day is, it really is 80% Sandy's vision, 20% mine. There is so many little touches around the rooms that have come from Sandy and she's put effort in, she's put the thought in, I've nodded and she's <laughs> followed it through. As one, they will duet through life, singing their song as husband and wife as they each face challenges over time, they will take it in turns to grow and shine. Holding hands the whole way through, 
teaching each other what to do. And now we all wait excitedly to hear what the tune of their wedding will be. Today will be full of rhythm and soul, of a love that sets a whole new goal. When times are hard and not so fun, this stage will be theirs to look back on. Memories that will be shared and retold for the bride and groom that will never grow old. I'm just so excited for continuing the next stage of our adventure together. Thank you, Sandy. Thank you, everybody in attendance. <laughs>